what is going on everyone welcome to the video i'm going to be showing you how we install elevator door frames so over here you're looking at the seal this is the bottom of the door before you enter the lift and uh, this is called the header it is used for supporting the door panels this over here drill machine and these black things these are called supporting brackets and these ones here are called the architraves they are used for supporting the header on top and over here is where we're going to be putting our door frame yeah our door frame is going to be passing yeah just right here like this to fit it in there mm -hmm. yeah you have to mark the door center so our door opening is 800 is 800 so you can see the seal the seal is 160 the seal is 160 you see that yeah so you get the center here at eight. yeah so now the seal is done marking yeah so you can see this is the door center so it will be opening one door measures up to here that is 400 millimeters so the entire door opening is from here up to here is 800 and this part here is where the arch traves are going to sit yeah over there those are the arch traves they support the head so now i'm going to work on the header so the seal is all good time to work on the header let me open it Yeah, unwrap the header. Okay. So these are the bolts that we are going to be using. So they come in the header. Remove this. Hey, it's hard. Open. Okay. Now we're also going to mark this header. We divide it into two you get the door center you mark off the arch traves just like we did to the seal so now we are done with marking the header you can see this is now the door center from here up to here is 400 and from here up to here is 400 so here is where the arch trave is going to sit this over here is the arch trave it is going to be straight up so this is the header it is upside down you can see it so now we arrange our bolts and we proceed yeah these are the bolts time to arrange touch them to the support mm -hmm. these are two bolts we get copper washer Add the spring washer and the nut to get your support you put it from behind like this it has slots okay put in like that and you add the nut Okay. yeah now good I get another one do the same process get a t-bolt get a copper washer spring washer and nut you put like this then like that spring washer and you put the nut after that you do the same for these other ones also they are individuals see you do them like this once you are done yeah so we get our seal we already marked it so you bring it over here and you put the support it is upside down you can see yeah 
also do work on it. Will you see it properly? Get this and enter. It has a slot. It has a slot down. Get this two bolt and it enters. Inside. It is now strong. You see? This is a two bolt. I move in front, I move backwards. Okay? Now put on the other side also. Mm -hmm. You can see this. The two bolts enter See? Get your support like this. Put this part inside like that. Mm -hmm. Just look at it. This is now our support. We hold it. This is now the seal. You can see the supports over there. So the anchor bolts will be passing through these two holes. It will now go to the bottom. Yeah. Yes, like that. So then we put two bolts on this. The other one is now. Yeah, this is the castle. Roping is already done. Yeah, we already finished the roping. Yeah, and you can now see the seal we have already put it inside it is so far on only two supports and you have to put it on level yeah, i think you can see this clearly that it is on level yeah once you see everything is okay it is on level yeah you can go ahead now and tighten and move on to the next step yeah so now after putting the level you now put it again across yeah on the short side on the width side yeah you can see right now it is not on level but we are going to correct that using these are called u packings we have the white ones are paper or plastic u packings but we also do have metal u packings so you see these are metal and these white ones here uh, plastic or paper packings so you put that under the seal to balance it on level just like this you pack it inside and now you can see it has come to level you see that then after it has come to level then you can go ahead and tighten like a pro Well now we measured the distance of the seal from the guardrail and it wasn't enough so we had to chip the wall so that our seal can enter a little bit into the wall. Yeah you have to do that so that you are flexible so we are now trying to chip inside the wall so that you push the seal far away. In the car. Okay. Yes. Tighten. We now go this side. Okay. Ready? Okay. 
So the distance from the guide is okay. One 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 So we are now getting the center. Hi, okay. And it is one one four one. And you need to be in one. Now this is how they look. You can see. It still has supports. One, two, three, four, and five. You can see the seal down there. Yeah, that's the seal. Yeah, we tightened the arch drives using these bolts. You saw them earlier. Arch drives. Now they come all the way up. Yeah, also the same side here. See? Yeah, they're supported. They support. Also here. Now this is a header. You see the header? So when we bring the doors, door panels, they will be held by these bolts here. You see this one? Yeah. These are the bolts. Now this is the header. This is supported by some bolts. You see this? And that over there. So that is how we install the door frames. We made it this far. Click subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Subscribe to the channel. Peace. See the dust here. Yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.